Hey there everybody, this is Caitlin here and today we have another sort of kind of special review -y type video, I'm not really sure what to call it right now. Um, it's going to be of da -da -da, <gasps> Xenoblade Chronicles X, the limited edition according to the bottom of this box here. I bought this from, well, I pre-ordered it from game like months and months ago when I first, when the first pre-orders came up for it because I was like, <gasps> I love Xenoblade Cro the, the, I could talk. I love Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, I never got the chance to play the original one on the Wii, but I bought the new 3DS version, and I've been playing through that, and I totally adore the game. Like I love the story and the characters and the battle system and everything like that. And then since I saw like the trailers and everything for Xenoblade Chronicles X, I was like super excited. That was like one of the games that I really wanted to get a Wii U for because you know. I love RPGs. I love like really big RPGs where it's like you can just free roam places, you know. It's not like random and like uh, random encounters are fine because that's really what's in Pokemon or whatever. But I like the kind of RPGs where you can like selectively choose to go up to like monsters or whatever and be like, I'm fighting you right now and you're going to be my focus. And I'm, you know, not, if anything else aggro's, that's fine. But you make the choice to go and fight those monsters. So this is the box that it came in. I'm. Uh, quite grateful that it didn't come in, inside like a huge massive box that really, you know, w full of stuffing or whatever because, you know, as pretty as like big boxes look, most of the time it's just filled with like styrofoam and everything just to protect it. So I like how it just fits into like a nice little box and you don't need to worry about all the packaging and everything like that. So here's the front of the box with this awesome looking mech on the front of it. I think they're called scales according to the back of the box. And there's all the little screenshots on the back of it. Uh, the words currently look backwards in my camera just because of the way I'm looking at it. But, you know, this is where we build our future. You can discover the vast expanse of the planet Mira, or Myra, however you pronounce it. I've not had a chance to play this game yet because um, things have been pretty crazy in my life right now and I just haven't had the time. So this is, uh, this is like my first chance of actually opening this. I've had this since uh, the 4th. Uh, when like the release date was and it got delivered to me on the 4th. So I've had it since then, it's been a couple of days, I've not had the chance to actually open it up. But now we shall see what is inside. Ooh. So obviously it comes to the game. Uh, <laughs> it would be a pretty, a, be a bit of a bummer if like you paid all this money for a special edition that didn't come with the game. So like the front of the game and the back of the box pretty much the same as like this box here. So nothing really new here. But what we have here is, ooh, very nice. We have the art book that comes with this. I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't have like a fancy cover or whatever. Uh, you can just make out, it says Xenoblade, Xenoblade X on the front of that. It kind of reminds me of the, um, the miniature art book that came with some editions of Fire Emblem Awakening. It was like a really small art book with only a couple of like, it, I wouldn't say it was like worth the money for that kind of art book. I was a little bit disappointed when I got that one. I much preferred the the really huge, expansive, I think it's called Knights of Iris uh, art book for Fire Emblem Awakening. That is a proper art book. That is something, I love art books like that. But I'll just do a quick little browse through here. So you have Archives. I don't know who any of these characters are right now because I've not had a chance to play the game. But, you know, there's little uh, pictures here. I'll try not to show off all of them just in case, you know, people don't want stuff spoiled or whatever. I'll see if I can find anything that looks very pretty. Oh, that looks really nice. Try and show that one up. That's a nice uh, double page uh, art. Piece of artwork there. Or, like, it looks like a screenshot from the game, actually. And what else is there here? So like here's like a page full of like all the different monsters, designs and everything, all the creatures that apparently live on Mira. Some of these actually look very creepy. I like how it's kind of, it's no, it's, hmm, how can I describe it? It's like, it's taken a more sci-fi turn. Like Xenoblade Chronicles was like, it was sort of sci-fi, but not like totally sci-fi because most of it was still pretty like rustic or whatever. And you know, you know, a lot of the places were still like grassy and earthy and jungly and all that stuff but um this one seems to have taken like a proper sci-fi turn so I, I think they'll be quite interesting to explore so that's the art book and then it also comes with this kind of steel book thing which open up which i guess you could use as a replacement for the actual uh box for the game i mean it does look it does look nice i mean i don't understand why you get a steel book when you already come get a case for the game, I don't know. I don't quite understand that, but I mean, it does look nice. Maybe if you want to like travel or whatever and you want it in a protective box thingy, I guess. I mean, 
you know, it's just it's plastic on the inside, so I don't, I don't really understand. And it's literally the same box art as it is on the box, but <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I just don't understand these decisions. And then the last two things are we get a map and a double-sided poster. I don't know whether I should open this out or not because then I can't really fold it back up without getting all complicated and stuff. But I'll open this up and see if I can at least try and show it off. Uh, is that holding up the right way? Apparently this is the map of the uh, planet. Is planet or continent? No, it's a planet, isn't it? Because it said the planet mirror. So I'm trying to have a look at this myself and see what it actually is. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, five different zones or whatever. I mean, that doesn't look enough to fill up a planet. But then again, you think of planet Earth and you're like, hmm, all these continents. So that's the map, which I'll probably be hanging up on my wall somewhere. Uh, give me a reference guide of where I'm actually going. And then this is the double-sided poster. I think so. Double-sided poster. Um, I'll open this up and see what it looks like. So we have this side. So this side is basically the front cover of the box. Again. <laughs> it's like, is that the only image they have for promotional work? And then this other side is like, uh, it looks like two robots. Um, let's see. Yeah, they look like two robots having like an awesome fight. And there's people falling out of their mechs and stuff like that. I'll hold that up again so you can see. Like, oh my god, I'm falling out of my mech. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, is there, there's nothing else in the box, isn't there? No, there's nothing else. So it's the game with the art book, the double-sided poster, and the map. And the steelbook. So in terms of value for this kind of special edition... Um, I'd say it's kind of worth it. I'm not particularly sure. I mean, if I would have preferred it if it, there was a more detailed art book because um, seems to be a lot of the times where Nintendo brings out art books with their games, they're not really that really great. Like the one that came with Fire Emblem Awakening was like a really tiny one, and it didn't even come with like anything that you hadn't seen. It was like pretty much the profile art of the characters, and that was about it. And it's like you can see that in the game already. It's not like that's something you've never seen. Which is why I preferred like the huge like Japanese art book for Fire Emblem Awakening. And kind of the same with this. It's like not stuff that you've not seen. Like, I mean, by the time you play the game, you're probably familiar with everything in this book. So there, there's not a lot in here, which is, you know, uh, for my money, I would prefer like a proper huge art book, which would have been amazing. But, you know, pro probably they would have probably hiked the price up a bit more if it was like a bit bigger than that. But... In terms, I'm, I mean, I'm relatively happy. I'm happy I've got the game more than anything, but I just wanted to get that special edition just to see uh, what kind of, like, the quality of stuff that came with it. So, in my opinion, it really just depends on how hardcore of a fan of Xenoblade I guess you are. I mean, I'm happy with it enough with it. I mean, I would have liked a wee bit better stuff, but, you know, I don't want to be too greedy or whatever just because I'm like, oh, I have, like, such a, a high taste in art books or whatever. Or like a higher taste in posters or blah 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 blah. But you know, that's that's what's in the limited edition if you want to get it. I got I got mine from game uh, uh for UK people or whatever. I think it's still available on there because I'm pretty sure they didn't they, they haven't sold out as far as I'm aware because I never saw it sold out uh, at any point. But um yeah, I'm kinda hoping if I can like in terms of like the special editions I really want to get the special edition of Fire Emblem Fates because that looks like a proper special edition where hopefully, fingers crossed, it has a really, really, really good art book and not one similar to Awakening and it'll have all three games like Conquest, Birthright and Revelation? Is that the third one? Revelation? I know there's like three episodes or whatever and the special edition has all three of them so you don't need to buy the separate games and then get the DLC. It's all there on one cartridge and I really want that. So hopefully uh, that comes out in pre-order soon and I get it. So um, that's that for this video, guys. Uh, let me know if you liked what was in the limited edition, what you thought of it, whether you would have like wanted to include other stuff in here or what you're thinking of Xenoblade Chronicles X so far. Have you started playing it? Do you want to play it? Or is there like you know stuff you want to talk about? Let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to talk to people. So until next time, guys, I will see you later.